This is uh okay. There we go. I don't know. It's the countdown video, man. Stream y'all got to get that right. But man, um, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. So, you know, every now and then it'll go haywire or whatever. But uh, appreciate everybody, everybody for tuning in. And today's topic, of course, is teach your son about his value. Teach your sons that they have value. You know, um, we live in a society today where, unfortunately, you know, our boys today, hey, they like they like Peter Pan's. You know, they the lost boys today. And we got a lot of guys, a lot of even men now, a lot of them are men. They're walking around no direction, no purpose. You know, they're, they're just NPCs. They're non-playable characters, ham and eggers. You know, they, they, they you know, knuckle dragging mouth breeds. They're just walking around aimless. With 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 nothing, with no purpose at all, no drive, no nothing, and one of the reasons I think that is is because as a as a young man, we weren't taught about our value. You know, we live in a I would say a gynocentric society where our value seems to be tied to whether it's getting women, being with women, catering to women, doing stuff with women. But then have, you have to teach your son that you have value outside of that. You have value outside of whatever society is you said they say you are um what they want you to be what you have um even in especially the young men who are starting to date and they're seeing the young ladies and what they <laughs> value you have value outside of whatever their standards are and whatever they want you know as a young man you should be putting in the work anyway focusing on yourself being your own mental point of origin your first thought should be about you and how it benefits you that's what it should be about you know do you have a, a men especially you know if you were as you brought up with a um your, your mother depending on um how she was you know because my mom she was she was a little different just like your mom was a little different sean my mom my grandmothers and them they taught me a little differently from i see the way the mom's teaching their sons today because i see them on TikTok, social media and they're setting their sons up for failure especially when it comes to dating and the way they have their sons go about it but just not even outside of that just the whole scope of life period because number one a woman can't raise a man we're just gonna put that out there right now i'm sorry i understand you superwoman you got your cape mm -hmm. on but number one you're not the mom and the dad because you're not a man you're not the dad you'll never be the dad and you've never been the dad sorry to tell you that it is what it is you're the mom and you've tried to play the role of the dad but you haven't you can't because you're not a man and that boy needs to be taught about his values from men. Wow. Wow, that's um, really good stuff. And, uh, B, I just want to uh, piggyback off you on that, man, um, when you said about, you know, how your mom was different, <clears throat> especially how my mom was different. Um, and, and sometimes, you know, uh, people don't, they don't think about, you know, the, the boys is walking around with no father, fathers, but they're, <clears throat> being raised in uh, single parent homes with just a mother and there's no father there. And um, yeah. so um, one thing about my mom, what I, what I did love, man, she, she was, she's very transparent, man. And she just was like, you know what, you know, Sean, you know, I'm a woman. I don't, I don't know what it's like to be a man. And I have my struggles with even understanding men. And I got two boys that I'm trying to raise to be men. And you know, and I and I, I I've shared this story on podcasts before and videos, but my mom was she just straight up told me I mean in my face, and I couldn't do be nothing but just internally grateful. She said, You're gonna struggle. You're gonna struggle more than the man who's got the father in the home. Yeah. And these are real conversations that mothers aren't having. And I know for a fact, you know, there's a lot of moms aren't having these uncomfortable conversations with their sons when she told me i was you're going to struggle because you don't have a father in this home yes. so you are going to struggle you're going to struggle in relationships you're going to struggle in uh just communicating and and trying to 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 you, you're just going to have that she's like i'm teaching you but from a male's perspective you are still going to have your struggles just because your father wasn't there and <clears throat> And she was right. Um, a lot of my relationships have not been the best. Um, a lot of that, uh, I can't say 100% has been Sean's fault, but the majority has been my fault. You know, so um, just, you know, and I, and I mentioned it today, just not listening to women, not, not listening to their feelings and things of that nature. 
And, you know, I'm still a work in progress, you know. Um, but at, in my older life, in my 30s, my mom said, Sean, when you, the person that you're going to grow old and gray with and that you're going to die with is going to be that phenomenal virtuous woman who has taken the time and patience to get to understand you. The one who, who knows that as a black man, you already got strikes against you already. I need to be on your side 24 seven, 365 days a year because you already got the world up against you and you already got that black tax already on you because of your color of your skin. And a lot of people don't know what the black tax is. Um, I'm glad that I had an intellectual mama to break down what the black tax is. And B, I'm pretty much sure as intelligent as you are, you already know what that black tax is. So we and you ain't even got to have a conversation of the black tax. That black yeah. tax is that you got to be better in every facet of the imagination to be better above and beyond in so many different things. And but my mom told me, she used to tell me constantly, she 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 breathes a value in me. She kept breathing value. I didn't start seeing my value until I was darn near 27 years old. After all the years this woman actually told me, you know, you can do this, you can do that. She had to breathe. If she didn't breathe the value in it, in me, how I was going to find out that I'm going to be a man of value. So people ask me all the time, your confidence and your surety and, and um, your boldness, where does that come from? That comes, that came from a woman. That came from Gwen. That came from somebody believing in me. That came from somebody who's been teaching me since I was a kid. It doesn't matter if the whole world doesn't believe in you, long as you believe in yourself. That's value. It doesn't matter who leaves you. Keep believing in yourself. That's value. Women are going to come and go in your life. You are going to be heartbroken, but believe in yourself. That's value. It doesn't matter. You're smart. You're educated. You're good looking. You can have anybody you want when you choose to want them. That's value. See, women need to be breathing, speaking, and and just 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 birthing that value into men. But and that's why what you said, Brandon, which I thought was such a profound statement that there are a lot of men walking around lost. There, there, there are a lot of young boys walking around lost. Absolutely. They're just lost, man, because nobody in the home is breathing life into them. This is, a, this is amazing. This is, a, this, is, this is amazing subject that's, that, that's necessary to, that we're discussing right now, man. Yeah. This is like with, you know, the inner cities getting bad. You know, um, with right. um, the um, mass shootings going up, um, people will look for something to blame and they're pulling at all of these things. They want to blame the guns. You know, they want to blame all this stuff. I'm telling you, man, what it is, is that you're looking at a bunch of boys who are not taught how to be men, who were not taught that they have value. You know, since they feel like they don't have value, you know, they feel like they have nothing to live for. You know, that's why you have the like you just had um, it was a young a young rapper. And dude, dude, uh, um, the hazard pay in rap has to be high because the chances of something happen to you, man. We the, over the last just two or three years, at least 12 rappers that I that I know of have been deleted in some right. way, form or fashion. It's some right. kid in Tampa named uh, Roly or Raleigh Bands. He was like, my ops in the way I stay, pull up. Um, I'll be home in five minutes. I sleep good every night. They pulled up and they deleted that young man. This just happened a few days ago. He posted on his IG story. He was gone a few hours later. You know, see, they, they don't care. And the reason they don't care is they don't think that they have any value outside of whatever faux masculinity or, you know, faux alphaness. I'm the tough guy. I'm this. I'm that. No, but teaching them about their value, what they mean to themselves. Number one is the value to themselves valuing yourself first and foremost for outside of what somebody else value as family society you know um school church all that stuff about yourself and valuing yourself valuing your life and having a purpose that's first and foremost you know but now since we don't have that since the man has been pushed out of the home now what do they do they grab two things they grab two what they see in social media, they grab to what they see on the street. They gravitate towards the street gangs. They gravitate towards like they gravitate towards rap. They gravitate towards all these things. And all they're trying to do is fill that hole and fill that need that's lacking inside of them. You know, now all young men at some point 
crave masculinity. They seek it out. They're looking for it. You know, right. your mom cannot provide it. You need men in your life to help provide that, to give you that guide map, to give you that to show you. Say, hey, young man, I understand that you're angry. I know that's first and foremost. You're angry. I, I know. I get it. But I got to show you a better way. This is a right. better path. Right. You can make something out of yourself. You know, ain't nobody saying you got to be the president. You got to be an astronaut. You got to be doctor, lawyer, all this. No. You have inherent value and you have potential and we need to show them how they can reach that potential yeah man um um i really enjoyed the time i spent with my son this summer man because we we had a lot of conversations some of the conversations um that we had was uncomfortable conversations but i told him you know that man these these conversations are necessary you know and some and one of the conversations got emotional because i said you know you got to understand the, the life that you have is the life that I always dreamed of. I mean, I always dreamt of having a relationship and uh, with my dad or, you know, just, just a conversation. Just, I say, man, you know, working out together and things of this nature, man. I said, Jordan, I would have loved that, man. Cause, and I said, you know, as a man, I say, if you show, if you show emotions as a man, Jordan, that doesn't mean you're weak. That's where your strength is derived from. And I said, if you see me get choked up for this, because I'm looking at my son and I see me through him as a young boy that's 16 years old, that that was longing for that masculinity, that was longing for that 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 man that I looked like or I resembled or I had mannerisms like. And I said he was nowhere to be found. I said, you have I said, any boy who has his father in his life has an extreme gift. They have a gift. Yeah that goes, that keep, they ha if a boy has his father in his life, they got a gift that keeps on giving. Um, whether the mother and him are apart because, you know, things between opposite sex, and I let my son know, sometimes things between opposite sex, son, is not gonna work out. That it's, it's life, but that still has, it, 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 it still is not a reason for that father and that son not to bond. I said, so that's why it was very important for me. I said, Jordan, because of how I was, because of the, the pain that I grew up in in my life, I didn't even want to have kids. And I'm just being honest. I said, I didn't want, I said, I didn't want, I never wanted to have kids. I never wanted to have kids in my life. I said, because I always in the back of my mind, what if I'm not with them? What if they don't have a relationship with me? I said, you know, and I said, Jordan, these are conversations that you really can't have with people or you can have these people, but they won't empathize and sympathize of how you feel as a man, because you always depict that as weak. I said, Jordan, the world has is trying to pretty much emasculate the man. Yeah. I said, but I want you to know what your purpose is. And I want you to stand on your purpose and never be moved and never allow society to remove you from where you stand in your purpose. I say you're more than just a dollar. You're more than just a walking ATM. You're more than what you can just do for somebody from your pocket or what you earn. You're more. I said, Jordan, you, Jordan, all men are more than just a dollar sign. All men are more than just paying bills. I get so, I get so angered by that because that's all you see. You see all yeah. about what he got to do. He got to do this. He got to do this. He got to do this. Listen, listen. Um, for the female population, we know, we already know what we got to do. We do not need you to keep beating that over our heads. But for all the men that are listening. Brothers, you are more. I don't care what color you are, green, purple, blue. You are more than just what's in your pocket or what's in your bank account. And if there's anybody in your life making you feel that's all that you are worth, then they are not the person that you need to actually be with. Because yeah. that's all you have. Because what happens when you lose your wealth and you lose your earnings, bro? What happens? Now you less of a man because you lost your job? Now that you less of a man because you don't have money in your account? You got to understand, men, y'all have to understand, and this is what my mom taught me. Money does not determine the less the, 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 the less or more of a man. Money does not determine the wealth or value of a man. It's the character and the core of you which determines who you are as a man and which defines your purpose. 
So y'all got to understand that. But B, if they're not men to let our sons know this, they were continuously yeah. walking around with misinformed information and lost, brother. Yeah. Yes. And, you know, T.D. <laughs> Jakes got us some hot water. I think it was last week. You know, he had a sermon and he talked about how, you know, we're raising our women to be men. You know, we're losing our families. And that's absolutely right. We've lost our families. The black family has been destroyed and I don't think it's coming back. Um, wow. And one of the one of the things that gets lost in lost families is you. That's the lost families has created these lost boys. And the right. biggest thing, too, is lack of community. Now, now we don't have a community. Communities are what are what connected people back in the day. A set of moral stance values. Everybody kind of, you know, knew everybody and could hold people to a standard. Now, now you can't hold nobody to a standard because they're like, yo, I don't know you. Who, who right. are you to, to question me? Don't talk to my kid. I remember when that era started before, you know, you remember back in the day, you came up right. when the neighbors could discipline you. Oh, yeah. Hey, somebody see you cross town doing something and they knew your people. They could discipline you, send you back right. to your parents and then your parents will yeah. discipline you. Exactly. Those days are over. Yeah, long it's gone. over now. It's it's over now. So now that we don't have that anymore, you know, now it's just it's loosey goosey. Now it's the wild wild west. Everybody do what everybody else, everybody wants to do. But right. but for the young men, it's very very dangerous. And because it's dangerous, is that think about it. I thought we talked about this. As a man, you wake up every day and you taking L's. As soon as you as soon as your eyes open, you taking L's. You know, right. you being you all of your failings, shortcomings as a man are right here every single day. It's right. in your face. It's brought up. It's a it's a regular thing. We like you said, you just said it. We be you're beat over the head with it every day. And what does right. that do? That fosters anger. Yeah. Yeah, B. And and you know, um, you know, I I, I you know, this is an emotional topic for me, dude. So it's going to take, gonna take everything in me not to break down because I just, you just, you, you, when you go without a certain thing, man, um, that void is never filled. When you go without a dad, it is, it is never filled, man. It's a pain that never goes away. Um, and as a man, sometimes you feel as if you're crossing your T's and dotting your I's and sometimes it's not even enough. Um, People don't even see that you working on yourself is not even enough. People don't even see that you're trying. It's not enough. And I told my son, I said, listen, son, I see everything that you do. You know, I just want you to know that you're more than enough because my son, you know, he, 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 he suffers, he suffers with some things, man. And, um, and I'm um, not to put my son's, you know, business out there, man, but I don't want him to ever have to go a path that I had to go. Um, that's why I try to work so hard and, you know, his mother worked so hard, you know, to, to keep him on that right path. Cause he's a, he, uh, th there was different gyms. We went to Bailey's and we went to, um, uh, Planet Fitness. We would alternate back and forth and I was going in Bailey's the other day and, the, you know, the, the general manager, he was like, Hey man, where, 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 where's, where's, you know, where's, where's dude at? Where, where's your young dude at? Where's your boy at? I said, man, he had to go back. He went back to Tennessee. And he's like, man, I just want you to know, man, you got a good son. You got a good kid, man. When you, when someone tells you that your son is good, manable, um, things of that nature, and he's a good kid, man, it just, it just makes your heart feel, it makes your heart full. But, yeah. you know, um, I couldn't imagine you know, him going or living a life without me. You know, that that's a that's a pain I don't want him to feel. I don't ever want him to hear what a bar what bars sound like when they close. The you know, I don't never I don't I don't never want him to um to have a record or you know uh, have yeah. people judge him or whatever. So it's taken a lot for me not to get choked up because I made some bad decisions in my life and I have to live with these decisions. But I want a different life for him, and I see he going on that that path, and I just thank God that I'm like, okay, I'm doing something right, and then I'm sharing my mistakes with him, you know. So, yeah. <clears throat> give me a minute, B. So, <clears throat> so I'm, I'm just trying to, 
to share, for, just be as so transparent with him as possible, man, because our world is not teaching our boys. They ain't even showing our boys love right now, man. I'm seeing young men you know. in their 20s being locked up, man, and, and, and they, they, they whole lives are being taken away from, man, because these boys, and, 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 and I, I, I really don't know if our women, our black women, white women, Asian women, our, you know, Latino, I don't even know if they even know the pain that these boys are going through. Do, are these conversations even being had? Are these questions even being asked about the pain that these boys are actually going through? So you got boys growing up to be men like nobody gives a damn about them or how they feel or their mental psyches or whatever. And they boys. So these boys are growing up with this anger because, you know, when you said something about anger and they angry, B, I had so much anger in me that I suppressed. I had so much anger in me because I just didn't want to be here. I mean, dude, I ain't even want to be a dude. I ain't have my dad. I ain't even want to be here, man. I'm looking in attention from other dudes and 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 it just like you said be uh, you know all the dudes i thought was the coolest it, the ones that had all the women so womenizing and 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 trying to get as many women as i possibly can man y'all don't understand the mental and emotional and psychological stuff that that does to a boy growing up to a man and he's got to fight yeah. through all these demons all these things he's trying to fight to be a better man you got to understand what these young boys is going through. And that's why me and my son, we talk so much, man. And I share when B, when I tell you I'm butt naked with this kid and my truth, I, he knows, he knows every dirt, every piece of dirt that I've ever done wrong, man. You know why B? Because I want him to be better than me. And he has, he has so much more than I have. First of all, he, yeah. he, he's so far ahead of me because why? He's got a dad that loves him and is hands on with him and is tell, sharing him the truth and to tell him every day, be better than me. Yeah. And our, our young man that's going on and, 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 and when you've had a mom and dad hands on and you know who they are, can you imagine what it feels like for a young man to not even know who his father is and he is seeking attention from the streets and yeah. advice from this person, this person? He got advice coming from so many different people. He is growing up. He's he's growing up as a kid, but then he's so diluted with so much information that he don't know what from what. And he's picking and choosing. I don't be this. This subject is so deep that you that you your title to this message is so deep that people really just they're they're losing sight of that fact of our young men, mm -hmm. and they don't they be they don't they angry and they don't know they value. They feel as if that nobody cares nothing about them. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy, so the man. same boys that you neglect today will be the boys who are going to burn it all to the ground. Yeah, man. That's, just, that's, that's what's going to happen. Let's see. What up, Trey? He said, my dad does the same, uh, does the same as impact. A father's love in a young man's life can make a huge difference for real. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Trey. Yeah, and I know, hey, I know Ness is hands-on, you know, with, it, with his son. Yeah, um, and, you know, what you said, you know, I could see the pride my mom has when somebody tells her, about me or they talk glowingly of me and she tells me about it i just see her light up you know because i right. i see how that makes her feel when she hears that from other people you know right. um but you know the young men and the anger the anger that they feel all because all what what it is is that they're lashing out yeah they're lashing out when you see these they're them committing acts, committing heinous crimes, doing this stuff. They're lashing out. A lot of it is a cry for attention, and their cries are going unheard. So what? So what is happening? The cries are going unheard. Nobody cares. Well, guess what? I don't care. So now when I bump into you on the street, I bump into you in the mall, I bump into you here, or hey, um, I don't have this, and I see you got that, and I want that. I don't care about your life. I don't care about you got a family. I'm taking that. I want that. I don't care. So now when you have young men who have attitudes like that, it makes it dangerous for the everyday person. I mean, men already, because, you know, 
you know, women talk, we talk about women and, you know, um, you know, they're the, they're the weaker sex. And so they're all, they're always a, um, they can be an easy target. They're vulnerable. They're the vulnerable sex, but you don't, a lot of women don't realize as a man, it's, it's even tougher because I could wear the wrong colors in a certain place. I could wear, I could wear my hat the wrong way. I could say the wrong things to somebody. I could bump shoulders with the wrong person. You know, I can get into an altercation or a back and forth with the wrong person and boom, there it is. It's gone. You know, right. I'm only here today because of decisions that I made. When I've gotten into places where I felt that anger come on, I've done my best not to feed into it because I've done a few times. And when I've done it, the way I've acted and the way I felt, it was scary. It was very scary because I didn't care. Literally did not care in those moments. It could have been easy to throw everything away in a fit of rage. And we watching them do it every single day. Every day, man. Um, B, just to pick it back off you, man, just the things I did just loosely, man, not even caring about my own life or anybody else's. Um, to think that, man, I, B, I remember, man, having a double barrel shotgun stand me right in my eyes, man, out right, right in Alabama. I was stationed in Fort Brandon, Georgia. I'm in the military acting like I'm like some thug from the streets. I'm in the military. I literally belong to the government this time. This dude had a double barrel shotgun in my face. And I told this dude, antagonized this dude in front of all these women, in front of my dudes and his dudes. He had his posse. I had mine. My boys were strapped. His boys were strapped. I'm the only one. My my thing, my, my strap is in the car. So I'm like, you know, you better pull that trigger. trigger. Now, here I am, 20-something years old, telling this dude, you better pull that trigger because I'm going to turn this MF down, upside down, inside out. And me and my boys, we're going to find you and we're going we gonna to do, we gonna do, we gonna deal with you. Ha! When I sound like in the military talking like that, I'm in the yeah. military, bro. I'm acting like, you know, I'm just working a, a regular nine to five job. I belong to the government. I'm acting like, so it's just the, the, the anger, just not caring. Then being shot at, at point blank range, me and my buddies coming from the club in Fort Bend in Georgia, going into a Crystals um, in line. It's about four of us, it's four girls. We ain't even see them with nobody. We hollering at them, they hollering at us. You know, we trying to, you know, get their numbers and things of that nature, whatever, whether coming from the club, 20 something years old, go back to our car. Them boys come back, see us hollering at their girls, come to us, shoot us at point blank range. Me and my buddy, we are up under the trying to get up under the carpet in the back seat. Two of my friends, two of my two of my friends got shot and me and my buddy, we didn't get in. We didn't we didn't get shot. He came around the other side, shot at us and dude ran out of ammo that's the only reason why i didn't get shot i saw two of my buddies right in front of me get shot all us in the military man it's just it's just the anger on top of anger on top of anger on boys uh boys growing up to be men no fathers man they just got so they just got a lot of anger and hate in them that's that was way back in my 20s man so just yeah. it, it just it just as just as something just as innocent man is just bumping into a a miscommunication or anything, man, you could lose your life on it. Them dudes want to lose you, do you finna kill you finna kill me because I'm trying to holler at your girl? Yeah. I mean, that's just how lost us as boys growing up without fathers and men and, and men today, man, be it's even it's even worse now. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely it's even worse. Let's see. What up, Ness? He said I try to encourage and provide advice, instruction or a concerned ear to any young man that I come across. Sometimes it hurts to hear the pain they're in verbally, but their mindset is F the world. Absolutely. Fathers right. are extremely important to the family dynamics and young men. Real talk. Yeah. yeah. And stuff, it's, 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 it's gotten, it's gotten very sad, you know, um, because their cries going unheard and anything that these young boys do, they're looking to blame other things. You know, especially when it comes to mass shootings. Oh, we got to ban guns. Uh, okay, if you ban guns today, these angry young men are still going to do terrorist attacks, pretty much. They're still going to be able to do it. You had uh, had a, uh, had a kid who um, drove like um, is like some fertilizer or something 
into a building and blew up the building with the fertilizer, you know? So yeah, dudes are always going to be, they got, when well, you take, take uh, large vehicles and drive it into masses of people. So these things are always going to be carried out. People doing stuff, acts like this has always happened. So it always will happen. It doesn't matter what you ban and what you take away. You need to right. get to the root cause of what's going on. And the boys have a sense of belonging and belonging to something. And I've always thought this. I've always had a theory on that and why so many guys gravitated towards gangs. They gravitate towards organized sports. Um, they join the military. Um, you get into um, frats. Um, you do, um, you know, they got the car groups. They got the motorcycle gangs. They got all type of stuff where it's just groups and it's men together. You always want to be a part of something bigger than yourself. You know, you know, having teammates working towards a common goal is something that boys yearn for. You know, they say it's something magical about a bunch of men getting together. Those men get the confidence to do things that on their own they couldn't do. Right. That is that's that's real powerful, man. And you're right, man. Just growing up, man, you just wanted to be around the fellas on, on playing ball, you know, and, you know, around the gang members and stuff, man, you just wanted to be around your dudes, man. I mean, you're just something, especially man, when you didn't have a father, man, it's it, to me, it was like, it, it was, it was like a common bond that I didn't have with nobody else, man. To me, I tell people all the time, the greatest fraternity I've ever been in was in the military. It's by far, I'm still friends with these guys today, man. We got memories we always going to be able to share until we six feet under, man. It's just, it's just yeah. again, man, just coming together as one cohesive unit, man, accomplishing the, 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 the impossible. You know, you know, you got, you know, you got your, your solid dude on your right and your left watching your six. I mean, it, it's, it's, it, it is, man, just that sense of belonging, man. You always want that um, as a boy, you know what I'm saying? Growing up. Yeah um into a man so man you and you hit the nail on the head with that one bro yeah absolutely absolutely man you know um and it's uh, and i don't know what can be done i mean the onus really is on the men if we're right. being honest the onus is on the men because women are not going to be able to do it and that's where it comes what well, comes in when i talk about men not caring enough about men's issues you know, you have all of these people, you know, whether they're politicians or these famous men or men of means, you know, they bang the gong for women's issues. You know, they come out anytime it's something about a woman, they get on and talk about how it's a travesty and all oh, this is terrible. But when it comes to things that ail boys and men, you there is radio silence. If you notice mm -hmm. that, I don't, I don't hear many of those men, same men that talk all that talk about women's issues, talk the same about men's issues. And that's one of the reasons why men suffer today. Like another thing. So um, they are about to, um, I saw, I think it was Marco Rubio came up with the unborn child support act. So basically saying that, you know, um, child support will begin at the time of conception. So the mother will get paid as soon as the baby is conceived. So she can, you know, whoever the dad is, whatever, those nine months she carried the baby, nine, ten months she carried the baby, she's going to get paid and compensated for that time. Now, the problem with that is, is that now she can finger whoever, because how am I going to find out who, if that baby belongs to me or not? You know, because not all um, 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 paternity tests are non-invasive. You got some that are, but. You know, they don't want to do an invasive paternity test because they don't want to harm the mother and harm the baby. So I have to wait until the baby is born, then get a DNA test to prove that it's not mm -hmm. my baby. Even if I have not dealt with this woman, she can say that I'm the father and they can try to get child support out of me. That's an issue that affects men. You know, I've seen some people talk about it, but for the most part, it's kind of like, mm, no, it is what it is. Once again, this is this all that and that what that you know who that's affecting. It's affecting the working class man. Right. Right. Man, that's that's so true, man. It seemed, you know, and and be what you said about, you know, men not talking enough, enough about men's issues. And w again, we knew we do need more of that. But 
every time, you know, we, when men talk about men's issue, it, it seemed like sometimes a lot of times it falls on the closed minded deaf ear. Um, True. And the, 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 the I, I like to call them what my mom called, used to call, my mom used to call the, 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 the good woman, the real woman, the, the, the mother of the earth woman, the, 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 the woman of integrity and character and dignity and morals and values. She used to call that woman. She 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 is the she is the real oh she's the real woman who thinks with an open mind. The real woman who thinks with an open mind is is always going to perk up and listen when it comes to uh, what men go through and uh, men uh, you know how how men um, are trying to really express themselves in a positive type manner. And we we don't have enough men speaking about men's issues so that women can get a better understanding. But the only women that's going to get a better understanding are the women who are mature enough to have an open mind to 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 pretty much um, receive uh, that understanding toward about men to so everything can be better, not only with the father of her child, but also her relationship and marriage, because she has a better understanding of this man and basically what he's, he's actually going through. But until us men get together, and actually have more uncomfortable conversations about what men go through. And again, when you were talking about this, B, now this is the first time I've heard it. And I'm like, here again, here it is again, these jokers throwing enough un more darts on men to, again, it's it, everything is all about that man's pocket. Yeah. No one cares so about, about that. No one cares about you. You know how many men be that I've talked to over a year's time who are hurting that they can't see their kid, but they 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 get money coming coming out of the account every month or coming out, you know, out of they check every month. But they can't, they have mm -hmm. to they damn near have to do Mission Impossible and covert operations just to see their kid that they help create it. What I don't understand in this world that we call freedom. The American way. How can y'all how how can how can how can y'all commit so many malicious crimes when it comes to the male's mental psyche and yes. sleep at night? How can you how can you play games and and you just you you just spend that man's license if he loses his job? Yeah. You you <laughs> he, I mean each time he makes more money, you're trying to go back to court to get more out of him. You don't care if that dude not paying his bill. She got two, three paychecks coming to her. You don't care if that dude is struggling out there, but that's a father. All that father's trying to do is to see that kid. And you're wondering why, which I don't condone, and I, I'm not an advocate for, but you're wondering why some dudes just bail. Absolutely. You're wondering why some dudes, they, they'd rather not even deal with you and deal yep. with the nonsense. That dude rather just put darn near change his identity, identity, have a plastic surgery just to get the heck away from from you. That is very sad because if the if the, I don't see it, it is rare to see a man be with someone who is rational, mature in mindset and open minded, who is trying to get along in a civil manner, not want to get along with that woman. It is always the unruly, the the the, the non-communicating. That's the 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 rambunctious, the the obnoxious, the the just rude, the 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 militant woman who just just want to make this dude life hell. The situation between her and him, it's over. It's diminished. It's it's ceased and desist. It's 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 disintegrated. This dude just trying to be a dad, but you want to make his life hell because of what? You you say it's not about y'all because if, if you happen, if it's not about y'all, then why do you give this guy such a hard time when he just want to see his kid? He is paying yeah. his child support. He's doing everything he needs to do. But why do you give this guy such a hard time? Why do you act like for 20 years this dude ain't done nothing for his kid when he did, went on record and the dude got tons and tons of receipt of everything that he's done? For his child, but then again, you you bash, you badmouth him, you 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 say negative, nasty things to his own kid, to him that he knows, and you call yourself a mother. 
Yeah. Uh, I, 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 the, the, there's, I, the, I can count real mothers on one hand that I know personally. My mom is one of them. Your mom is one of them. My mom has never made my, our, the, the father, our father's lives difficult. They chose not to be there. It was a conscious choice. She didn't even go to their pocket. She didn't even go to them at the, at the pocket. She did it all on her own. And so my thing about it is, is that, and then she never had not one negative thing to say. To see a woman go through and struggle as she struggled financially and she did every day of our lives. My brother can attest to this with no help, with no help, with zero help from any man. Yep. To me, she is the epitome of a classy woman of dignity, morals, and a highest valuable standard. I never heard her say not one negative thing about that dude. And she did it all on her own. She had the help of my aunt. She had the help of my grandmother. But she did it pretty much all on her own, financially. And she didn't go out this pocket, you know, because there are women, like my mom used to say, and then there are women of class. And the women of class, that number is small. It is not a large number. They yeah. move different. They love different. They talk different. They walk different. They act different. They think differently. They, 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 they are a woman of class. And then you got the rest. That's it's 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 all kinds of stuff going on on that end. And then you got the on the left side, just a faithful few women of class. And in those women of class are the women who really care about what men go through. In that women of class are women who don't have that it's all about me attitude. In the women of class, they want to know how can they get their son to be better, where he is getting the love and attention that he needs, and, and she is speaking every day value into him. There are single women out here that are speaking value into their sons, but then you got the vast majority that's not speaking nothing into them and wonder why he's getting locked up and wonder why he's selling drugs on the corner and wonder why this is happening and wonder why that is happening. What did you do? Did you do your part to speak value and life into that brother? And that young man, his life is wasting away in some jail cell, in some, you know, some, some prison, some prison right now. All because you did not breathe life into him or breathe value into him. And, and that's the thing. Be, these young men are just walking around here hurting. I used to be one of them. They walk around here, used to be lost. I used to be one of them crying himself to sleep. I used to be one of them, just, just, just a bunch of hatred and just anger. I was one of them, hated my life, wish I could die. I was one of them. And so when they act out in these ways that they're feeling internally because they don't know how to deal with these type of emotions because they just freaking kids. Yeah. And they're dealing with these adult emotions that they don't even know the meaning of. And there's nobody around them breathing no value into them at all. Thank God for Gwen. Because if it wasn't for my mom, I'm telling you, B, if it wasn't for that woman dog, I would be dead. I know, I know I'd be dead, bro. Or, uh, yeah. or locked up in a prison, man. I, be, I, I wouldn't even be here. You know, so it's emotional for me because I grew up like these dudes growing up that's jacking people and killing people, man, because they just got so much in them and nobody is listening. And nobody even cares. Y'all don't even care about grown ass men, let alone yeah. these freaking kids out here. And y'all, y'all, it's a joke to y'all. It's, it's, it's not a joke. You know what I'm saying? When you talk to a grown ass man that's lived how these boys have lived and could have been a statistic, I ain't even supposed to be here, bro. I'm just not. But thank God that I had a woman, man, who didn't give up on me. She's the only woman I ever known in my life, man, who didn't never gave up on me, never threw in a towel on me. Never, she just never gave up on me. And because of her fight is why I'm here today. And B, if we don't get together as men and come together, man, to, to really be an advocate for what we go through as men, our mental state and things, we, you, you got so many men hurting from stuff that they, 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 they went through as kids. And nobody's not taking, even taking the time to even understand them, even have a conversation. Because why? Yeah. It's all about you. You ain't even woman enough to even listen to a man. 
listen to his hurt as his pain because you don't care. And it, not even your own kids, you don't care. Yeah, it's sad, man. I'm sorry, man, yeah. but it, it's just that's a, it's it's an emotional thing for me because I know what these brothers are going through yeah. as teenagers, you know. And what you said is that's what that's what makes it dangerous as well is that because we know that as a, as a young man, I see it growing up that nobody cared. So when you come to me with your gripes and grievances and things that you want me to care about why should i care because i know you don't care about me and so now it's playing out in real time now you don't care about me so i don't care about you and that's what's playing out right now you get some of these yeah. comments say and social media has only fed this mindless beast of a narrative that straight man is abnormal while constantly pushing this alternative lifestyle needs a space foolishness and buffoonery how can you promote being a gay man before acknowledging the important presence of being a man yeah I mean, I don't care what you identify as. I've never cared about that, what you want to call yourself, your pronouns. I don't care about none of that stuff. The importance of being a man first and foremost is what's important besides right. who you affiliate with. Right. Because you have men who live alternative lifestyle. They, they know the importance of being a man, and they talk about being a man. They don't talk about what they do in a bedroom. They talk about being a man, you know? Right, right. You see, um, and it's fight or flight when it comes down to the court system because it's never favored and was even designed to make things fair concerning the man. Been there, done that. The system is horrible. Hey, you say real talk, bro. And that's what I was going to bring up, Ness. This conversation in itself is dangerous, yeah. Sean. Yeah, this man. conversation in itself from the, um, the um, uh, media in society itself, this is a dangerous conversation. This is a conversation worth canceling you and me over, Sean, because oh, yeah. we're talking about men learning about their value. Because when you right. teach men about their value, they won't be so willing to just give it away. They're right. gonna make you pay what it costs. We talked about it, uh, what's that Tuesday morning and you was laughing. Chris Brown right. charged a thousand dollars for you to come to his VIP and take pictures with him. Right. You know why that brother did that? He didn't need the money, Sean. Chris Brown values Chris Brown. That's mm -hmm. why. When you why? and those girls, they was just cheering, they cheesing, all pearly white showing. They happy because they valued what they had to pay to get in there to go see him. They value right. it. But if Chris had said, hey, anybody could come in, it would have been chaos. Oh, yeah absolute chaos they wouldn't have valued it they wouldn't have valued that man but you had to pay a thousand dollars you're gonna be on your best behavior oh, you're yeah. gonna value the experience so mm -hmm. men our price has been it's low it's low standard is low it's right. very low and they want to keep it low sean they want to keep it low because as long as they keep it low and they teach you you don't have value they continue to pump them greenbacks out your hide through various things especially the court system man bro <laughs> especially the court especially. system man. that thing is so rigged man I, we don't even have to even talk about it. that's how that's how messed up it is yeah you know um they again again now they're they, they're coming at they hit the man with from a different direction you gonna you're gonna charge this dude child support and this kid ain't even the, the kid ain't even born yet I, I mean, wow. I mean, you know, okay. All right. Let's just chalk it up to more money. I mean, it's, it's all good. I mean, it is what it is. You know, no man can do about it. You know, we, 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 we dealing with things that we, we, we're, we're fighting a losing battle, man, because it's almost like, you know, if they got that backing against us, man, it, I mean, who, you know, only person we got for us is the man that sits high and looks low. That's the only, that's the only man we got in our corner. That's the only person we have in our corner or the woman on the left, which is a woman of class, because the, the majority definitely don't care nothing about you. They just care about what yeah. you can do for them. But the few went, the few fake, the fake, the few classy women and the man upstairs, that's all we got. We ain't got nothing else. We ain't got the government. We ain't got the judicial system, you know, and they don't care what color you are. They, you, <laughs> it don't yeah. matter. Everybody get, if you a dude and you got a penis, you get knocked over the head when it comes to your pockets and everything else. It's more you white know, men it, than any other man on in the system because it's more of them. 
The ones right. in the child support system, it's millions mm-hmm. of white working class men. They get affected the most because it's more than right. And 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 which is very true. And and I have been in a situation where where in the court system, in the judicial system, and I don't care that that person is actually winning lied. Winning bold face lied in front of the court. I'm I'm like I'm like yelling uh, that that she, she lying. And my word don't even matter. They act like I wasn't even there. So mm-hmm. I can't again, I'm never going to speak on something that I have not experienced or actually went through. I'm looking at this chick lie. Eye to eye, face to face. As far as me, as this doggone uh, bottle here that's sitting on my desk right here. Bold face lie. And there's nothing I can do about it. Not a thing. Yeah. So my thing about it is, man, you know, that's why it is so important. It is so important for mothers to breathe, to breathe uh, value into their children. It's more important for men to start breathing life into these kids and breathe life into that kid that you know who ain't got no father. Breathe value into that kid that you know you ain't got no father. They just need to hear it. You have no uh, no idea what a smile and an, and a, and a, a friendly gesture and kind words could do to that young man that's growing up to be a man. Breathe and value that you. There's more to you than what you see. There's more. You, you don't see what I see, but you have so much value, young man. You could be anything that you want to, young man. You don't have to be. You don't have to get lost to the streets and to drugs and to selling dope on the corners. You don't have to do that. There is always a better way. But until men start breathing value into men, who else is going to do it? Yeah. No, not not the vast majority who don't care nothing about themselves, but the classy women. But again, the classy women ain't that many. There are not that many classy women who sees life through the eyes of a man. There's not that many classy women who sees life through the eyes of a black man, a white man, an Asian man, a Latino man. There's not too many classy women who see or have the empathy and sympathy of what men are being, what is putting, being pushed on man and what men are up against when it comes to how this world is emasculating them. Yeah. There's only a few classy women. So brothers, man, you, we, we got to stay prayed up. Hold on to the few classy women we got because the majority of the, the vast majority don't care nothing about you. That's a lost cause and a big man upstairs. That's all we got, B. That's it. That's it, man. That's it, man. So um, final thoughts, man. We're going to get on up out of here. Uh, my final thoughts. My final thoughts would be <sighs> to the open minded woman. I'm. Um, I, it, you can't talk to a closed-minded person, so I'm just talking to the open-minded, classy woman right now. For the to the open-minded, classy woman who really cares what men and their sons go through, and these young men are going through, continue not to only breathe value into that young man at home that's a teenager, but also continue to breathe value into your man that's your man or that's your husband, because he needs to feel that value breathe into him too. Let him know that he is more than just a dollar sign, that you appreciate him. Let him know, let him know that you know what he are up against every time he leaves that door. Let him know that you, you, you know, th- even throughout the day, how much you value him. And tell your sons this constantly. Constantly keep breathing that in and let them know that they, there's nothing, that, they can be anything in this world that they want to be. Tell them that it doesn't matter who doesn't believe in them as long as they believe in themselves and that you believe in them. I'm giving you words of advice that Gwen gave to me, and it helped me even when I didn't believe in it. She kept telling me until I bought into it, and it took into my 20s for me to finally buy into it. But when I bought into it, that confidence that I never had, when he gets, when that man, when that young boy grabs that confidence, he, that confidence is something that he can forever take with him for the rest of his life it's going to get misconstrued it's going to be depicted as arrogant it's going to be depicted as cocky conceited let them fools say whatever they want to say because he is walking around with his head held high they're going to depict it however they want to depict it but confidence confidence is needed in all men without it 
you lost already, brother. But without it, you you are in total and utter darkness. So breathe that value into him, not only to your kids, but also the, that man at home too as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, my final thoughts. Um, oh, let me get this. Uh, he said, Chris Rock said it right. Only women, children, and dogs are loved unconditionally. Men are loved under conditions of what you can provide. Facts. Yeah, I told a young man that um, that I um, in my, um, my past job, I had met him. And you know, he works up at one of the um, grocery stores. And I ran into him, was talking to him. I said, hey, if she's there, know she's there because you provide something. She ain't just here because you cute. She ain't here because you, you know, you look good or she like you so much or whatever. You're providing something. And since you're providing something and that's why she here, there's no free rides. She has to provide something as well. Reciprocation is a must. If she's not providing something, she has to get gone. It's really that simple. You know, ain't, ain't, no, ain't no box that great in the world for her to sit idly by and to ride your coattails. It's not. It's not, And it's not worth it. I'm sorry. You know, but as far as young men is concerned, and even the older men, because I know it's it's older men who may struggle with this as well. Acceptance. Mm. Acceptance, wow. man. Yeah, man. Accept who you are. Accept mm -hmm. yourself. You have to do that. Have to. That's where the value starts. You have to start with acceptance. Mm -hmm. If you don't accept yourself, you can never really learn about your value you know mm. it, you have to you have to accept yourself to begin with you know right change what, what once you accept yourself for how you are then you can work on the things that you want to change because you know you work on your finances you can work on your body you know you work on your spirituality you work on your mentals you can work on all those things but for the things that you can't change you have to accept those things accept it and move past it is that hey that's the luck of the draw that's what you got work with what you were given and then improve what you can improve but first you gotta accept who you are that's right there's a lot of us who they don't accept they 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 don't like themselves it's don't let these people fool you please please guys Sean, you know this oh please yeah don't let these fake mm -hmm. ninjas fool you they mm -hmm. do not accept themselves they accept don't yourself young man exactly well That's i beautiful. appreciate y'all for tuning in make sure y'all like share and subscribe i am bacon over here man it's, it's <laughs> like some burger king over here man <laughs> find up some fried chicken over there what's going on man man for real so reciprocation <laughs> is a must powerful statement b absolutely I say man but i appreciate y'all for tuning in make sure you like share and subscribe follow me on all my social medias uh ig tiktok youtube put in brandon lampley i'll come up uh follow sean taylor tiktok facebook instagram mm -hmm. youtube boys boy mindset Everything. taylor made for you training driven not motivated 21 mm -hmm. all that good stuff man and yeah, we man. will be back with more videos i think we're on sean's podcast next I'll yep. share that on my Facebook page, man. Hey, but until then, we see you guys later. Peace. Peace out, y'all.